Let's welcome Lynn Rose. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, y'all. Let's rock this. Everyone, please stand. Please stand. I must stand that we all play our biggest game ever. And that takes being willing to leap outside your comfort zone, being willing to play. So if you are a stand for that as well, I invite you right now to come down into the aisles all along here. Let's raise the roof, co uh, contagious optimism style, right? You ready? Take your seats, catch your breath, or at least I'll try to catch mine. <laughs> Woo! Doesn't it feel so good? Yeah. Feels yeah. so good to not hold back. Yeah. Feels so good to play full out, not feel embarrassed or try to hide, right? And look what we created because of that. So give yourselves a round of applause. Bravo! <laughs> Woo -hoo. All right. And now I have a little question for you. Whether you were playing full out or not, it's all right. But I wonder, at some point, did a little voice come up that might have said, I don't feel like standing right now. <laughs> what do people think? Am I doing this right? I don't want to look foolish. Did someone have a little voice like that come up? Raise your hand if that was you, if that voice came up. We all have, someone said, no, well, good for you. <laughs> but we all have those kind of voices, depending on the situation, right? <sighs> we all have those kind of voices. And it's that inner critic voice that will stop us from being and having what we want. Now, we all want that wow of a life. We want a wow of a conference this afternoon, right? And for me, the real wow is when we're able to experience life without walls when we're able to move beyond the barriers that stand in our way of the connection between our joy, our dreams, and our life. Now, in a moment, I'm going to give you a playful way on how to do just that. But first, I want to share an example of, if we're not careful, how that inner voice critic can actually hijack your life. Now, I may not look like it, 
but I have been navigating debilitating walls since a very early age. Um, I had an alcoholic father who stole my sister and I away from my mom, and for two years I didn't see her. We finally got reunited with her, and he was starting to get his act together, and then at 11 I got the news that he had been in a plane crash and was killed. And at that point, I shut down and I numbed out. Now, I was lucky in that later on, later in life, as an adult, I was able to get success on TV, Broadway, and film, but it was success on the outside. Inside, I was a mess. And soon, a series of circumstances were coming together all at the same time and triggered my past catching up to me. Like a Broadway show, I got four days notice out of nowhere and got canceled. I had a big audition for the head of casting for CBS, and I'm thinking, this is my big break. So I walk in there, the casting director takes one look at me, doesn't even let me read for the part, and she says, and I quote, I got nothing for you. You got a bulbous nose <laughs> and this jaw thing. <laughs> jaw thing. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I see you. You're looking at the jaw thing. <laughs> but I'm telling you, that inner critic came right in in overdrive, and the inner critic amplified that and said, she's right, give it up, you'll never amount to anything, you're ugly. But my inner voice, my true voice, was saying, but this is what I love to do, this is what I'm meant to do. But the inner critic said, give it up, you're worthless. Can you relate? <laughs> right? So the inner voice critic actually took me over. And it was the final rug being pulled out from underneath me. And somewhere inside, my body then completely shut down. I could no longer sing. I could no longer get sound out. I could barely move. And I had zero confidence to the point where I had to leave the entertainment industry and lock myself and my dreams away. I did give it up. Have you ever felt like there is so much there you want to share with the world, or so much more to you, but it feels impossibly shut down or too far away? Well, this went on for two years but it ended up being a blessing because I finally tried to step out by little step and willing just to step out, even with trembling knees, even with that critic's voice going crazy around me, even with failing again and again and again and again. Oh, and again. <laughs> and, and then finally, eventually, I turned it around. Eventually, I got an audition and booked it, and it turned my career around and ended up leading me on a career that went beyond my initial dreams. And the best part is that now I no longer feel numbed out. I feel alive. Uh. <laughs> So do you have dreams or goals that's calling to you that those darn voices or inner obstacles come up to try to stop you or hold you back, even in the smallest of ways? Yes, right? How would you like if in this moment you no longer let that inner critic stop you again? <laughs> So I'm going to give you a playful process on how we can work with that and take you to where you can move beyond those walls. And the secret ingredient that I found 
is to play with it. <laughs> and in fact, this goes along with, with the science behind neuro-linguistic programming. So we're gonna have fun with this, okay? We can actually have fun with this. <laughs> so think about, we first of all, we'll have to identify those voices. So think about what those voices are. We don't have to think too hard because they're usually right there in front of us if we're not careful. But I'll share with you some of mine. And you wanna, and when we get to where we're really trying this on, we're gonna really play with it. But for not now, identifying the voices. So you're too old, it's too late, you don't have what it takes. I don't know how. You know, whatever those voices are. You want to yell out just some of the voices that come up for you? Whatever that is. Not good enough. Not good enough, right? The basic human one. You're not good enough. Right? And then isn't it funny when they start fighting each other? You're not good enough. You're too much. You're not good enough. You're too much. Ah! Or if it comes into like, it's too soon. It's too late. It's too soon. It's too late. Ah! And then you get like just overwhelmed with this whole circulation of these voices and you're focusing on them and you're being run by them. When you could just channel all that energy into the direction you want to go and take a little step with your focus. And even if it's not the right step, which is another voice, what if it's not the right step? <laughs> I got to get it right. But even if it's not the, the right step, then you'll know, then you'll go to the next direction, which will then point you to the other direction, which will then point to the other direction. Eventually, you'll get there. And you don't want to feel like you have to make the voices of the critic go away before you take that next step. No, it's a matter of whether you choose to focus on that inner critic or focus on who you really are. Because that is not you. They are imposters with no power. The only power they get is through the focus we give them. So it's so important that we redirect our focus. We play with it, we redirect our focus, and then take that action. All right, so shall we play with this, ladies and gentlemen? Yes, yes all right, great. So, I invite you to please stand. <laughs> and this is about playing with it, because here's the deal. They're like animated characters, all right? You gotta make them, they're not real, just play with them, all right? Play with the voice. Jump ahead to one year from now. Think about a goal that you have in mind. It's a project, it's, ask, it's a, having a relationship, whatever that might be. And now think of one step you can do this weekend that will take you in that direction. So think of that one step you can do this weekend that will take you in that direction. All right, and now we get to play with this. Now, this is neuro-linguistic pattern interrupting. So just play along. There's actually a science here, all right? And men, your masculinity will be intact. I just want you to know. Okay, so just play along with it. So whatever those voices are, give them energy by how you move, too. So you make, make them move. Like, these are little quotation marks, like they're bunny ears. So you can really even hop if you need to. Whatever gives that voice, you feel that energy of that voice. And let's play with it. Ready? So here we go. I'm too old. So go ahead and go along with me here. <laughs> Get it into your body. So I'm too old. I don't know how. I don't know what it takes. Who are you? I can't do it. What happens? Stop. Right. Stop. Okay. That's kind of exhausting, isn't it? And it, what, does it really serve any purpose to get stuck in there? No. Whereas when we can give our focus, now redirect your focus to where you want to go and just take the littlest step forward. Just a little step forward. I know you're in your seats, but a little step forward. And look at that. Isn't that a lot easier? Now, this is a metaphor, but how do you get in your body? It's a lot easier. You can be like this or you can be like this. Choose, right? So it's no matter what you're facing, no matter what you're feeling, you can make that choice in any moment. So you want to play through to break through so that when that comes up, play with it. Make those voices playful because they're not you. They're imposters, remember? So play with it, then stop, redirect your focus, and step. So play with it, re stop, redirect your focus, and step. Because here's the deal. For all you know, you may just be on the edge of glory. And that one little step 
will catapult you forward in the direction you want to go. But so often, when we want to take a little step, it feels like the hugest leap, and like we're on the edge of gory, <laughs> and like we're going to fall to our death. But the ultimate gory is when you shut down who you are, or let it hold back or stifle what's meant to be experienced or expressed. And the only thing separating the edge of gory with the edge of glory is a little L, the littlest leap, the littlest leap. So right now, I invite us all to take that littlest leap together, because when you do, that's when the walls can part and you can move forward in the direction you want to go. So let's now play full out. Please, let's fill up these sides right here. Play full out. Take that littlest leap, because when you do, oh, hi, the mic's down here. <laughs> because when you do, that's when you play through to break through, all right? So keep it going, keep the applause going. We're on the edge of our glory. There ain't a reason you and me should feel alone tonight, yeah, baby, tonight, yeah, baby. I got a reason that you should take me home tonight. We need to stay. To, to the edge with you Where we can all go far in love We're on the edge of glory And we're standing at a moment of truth We're on the edge of glory And we're standing at a moment with you We're on the edge, the edge, the edge, the edge, the edge, the edge, the edge. We're on Enjoy this afternoon. All sorts of goodies coming to you if they show the slide right there. Love to send it to you. God bless. Thank you.